one punch could turn this fight around for him because we've seen him land flush. Kariki has been caught a couple of times. And he has a little bit of power if he can land. Your opponent's face, but he's got to be careful he doesn't get caught. Be careful he doesn't get caught with a stray shot, and he also has to be careful, Peter. This is he doesn't get caught. <laughs> Well, Sonny is unorthodox in many ways, and he throws punches from different angles, and that's where you can get caught. You can see Faye with that right hand right over the top. The lands in the right place. Kariuki could go down. We saw Peter Kariuki get tagged earlier. A bit of blood flying around the ring at the moment. We've still not seen that consistent offence from Terry. He just seems to be just still that cautious. We get to the end of the round. Time! Time! Good round for Terry. Yeah, it certainly was. Number seven. Very relaxed, Sonny Michelangelo. It's almost a little eerie from expressions we have seen in the past. Well, as you said, the evidence is there. Maybe he feels more comfortable with Tony. Dogs in the corner. They seem to work better together. And that little, they were five from five a couple of years ago when they teamed up under the Jamie Meyer banner. Heading back up to Queensland in the next couple of months. Another Jamie Meyer promotion. Gary <laughs> Uki really moving out of his comfort zone there. Minute into round number seven. Three rounds ago, Peter Kariuki was just dominating in the first one. This is holes apart at the moment, what we're seeing. Oh, Sonny Mojang is still in there fighting. He looks like he's trying to get that sneak in his right hand, which could try and turn the fight, but he's falling a long way behind on the cards. Come on, work away. Harry can still leaves himself open. The door's open there if Sonny Michelangelo can put it together. Oh, nice the former Kenyan. Now proud Aussie. Different styles here. I think a lot of people at home would be confused. This is consistent in this round from Karaoke. Sonny Michael's got to do something to turn this around. You can't keep taking shots like that. You can see the confidence. Karaoke's getting up on his toes now. He feels he's winning this fight more convincingly. Best round today, Paul? I think so. Yeah. One, he's tiring. Two, he's taking a lot of punches. <laughs> and then right on the top of the hair. Yeah. On top of the hair. Ten seconds out, boys. Mentioned earlier, there's not a great deal of consistency about the work rate of Avita guys. Either guy, should I say, it has been very... Number one, two, eight, 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 eight
number eight. I can't help but think this young man is going to explode on, at some stage. We've seen it a couple of times in the past. Not even explode in a bad way. Just, he's been very quiet on his own standards. Well, Kerry, he showed a bit more confidence in that last round. Maybe Sam Michael can use that to his advantage and Kerry really Losing himself in confidence, leaves himself open. Oh, good body shot there from Sonny Michelangelo. Was unable to follow it up, but did attempt two punch combination over the top. Karaoke, Karaoke, should I say, step through it. Sonny's committed to his punches early in this round. Maybe he thinks it's the final stand. Left jab. And it was to the temple. So often the temple shot can prove the difference. He gave the last round to SMA Paul. Yeah, I, when you watch close, you thought the, the punches he made in the first two minutes of the round were the, the clean of scoring punches. It was a close round, but I thought it was one of Sonny's better rounds in the fight. And I was disappointed that Carrie didn't finish up the momentum he gained from that previous round. I don't know whether he's firing a little bit or whether Sonny is a bit more committed to his punch here. I still have carriers who, you know, clearly winning the fight. And the top almost a temple shot there from Sonny Michael. The hardest thing about scoring a fight is just separating what happened in the previous round. It's just judging that round or its merits. And so often 
you you get caught up in that one fighter is winning the fight convincingly and then the other fighter has a, a, a close round. Oh, that hurts Sonny. Certainly did. And he moves into defensive mode. The boys from the BHS, the Black Hand Hit Squad, urging their man in the red front, Peter Kateriz, Kateriyuki, to move onto the toes, onto the front foot and finish this one. Andrew did a great job in it, staying on his feet. His little strong legs held him up. He nearly went down. There's a clean punch from Carries in there. It's his second fight for the month for Peter Carries Karyuki. Start of the month for Paz Vejo down there in Victoria and was a KO winner in round number one. Sonny Michelangelo really starting to hurt here. He's hurt, he's firing, he can't move out of the way of those punches anymore. That's a lot of clean punches. Dormy across the ring with Jump. Tip centering, it does him no favours. Come on, 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 come come on, come He's a fighter, he wanted to continue. Of course he did. He took a lot of clean punches in the end. And then I think it was a good stop as well. This year he lost a 12 round at Tiger Timmy Bell. Down there in Melbourne. The PABA light heavyweight title. And he's been outgunned tonight by Peter Karadiyuki. Different semi main events. We have a look at some of the action. Some of the clean punching here from Peter Carries Karayuki. As we said earlier, was an Olympian in 2000 here in Sydney. Represented his native Kenya. Stayed in Sydney for a while. Moved to New Zealand and is now back based in Sydney. Western suburbs. And is victorious. Here tonight, he'll walk home with the African and Asia Pacific WBO belts to add to his Oriental belt. He'll certainly move north on the rankings. Let's head center ring for the official announcement with Rick Powell. Thank you, Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, as Les Bear now brings these two mighty warriors into center ring. Put your hands together for those. A great bout, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, as we bring our two fighters in the ring in the two minutes and 40 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, of round number nine, referee Lesbia, stop the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from the red corner, Peter Kariz Karekuki. And around his waist goes the bell presented on behalf of the W.O. by Danny Lee. He is the WBO Asia Pacific Super Middleweight title holder and the African Middleweight Champion. And of course the Oriental Champion. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, to Peter Kariz Kariuki. Yeah, very solid performance from Peter Kariz Kariuki.